by Right Path Real Estate does not necessarily represent the views or opinions of the staff, management, or ownership of the <coughs> station. It's time to get on the right path with Right Path Real Estate Radio with Jason Bible. Get the answer to your question that's keeping you from taking action and succeeding today. Ready. The guy that will put your fears behind you is on the air now. Taking calls at 713 You want to let it go for a minute? or? Yeah, does it just keep playing? It'll, it'll just be a music bed. That's fine. Jason Bible. Alright, we can just let it play. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, see, it's, it's just the music bed. Okay, cool. Alright, fire me up. All right, here we go. Hot mics. Welcome to the show, folks. Welcome to the show. I read a lot of emails this weekend, talked to a lot of investors, read a lot of Facebook posts. I got I I did a bunch of Facebook posts this weekend. I usually don't do a lot of social media on the weekends, but we were we were just hanging out this weekend. It's kind of nice. So did a lot of posting, watched a lot of YouTube videos. I mean just did some general research on what's going on in the marketplace for investors. And not just real estate investors, stock investors, bond guys, commodity dudes, people who are mutual fund guys, ETF folks, all that sort of stuff. And you know what I've realized? The crash is coming. It is absolutely coming. Everyone, you need to divest of everything. Everything. You need to... Sell all your gold, sell all your silver and your platinum. You need to sell all your single family houses. You need to sell all your apartment complexes. You need to sell all your stocks and bonds, all of your options. You need to liquidate everything because the world is coming to an end. The crash is coming. Sell everything. Sell it all. I need all of you to get on the phone right now. I need you to call Blackstone. I need you to call American Homes for Rent. I need you to call Colony. I need you guys to flood every single institutional investor that's in single family and tell them the crash is coming. I need you to liquidate everything because the world is coming to an end <clears throat> there is no way we can make asset prices are at all-time highs it's all because of the fed there's nothing we can do about it we need to liquidate everything in fact i don't even trust banks at this point after all the stuff i read on the, on the internet this weekend i don't even trust banks i think you need to liquidate everything and stick it underneath your mattress. I mean, that's the only alternative. I mean, everything is all bubbly and high, and it's the Fed, and someone needs to audit the Fed. Where's all our gold? Bitcoin fell apart. Oh, Bitcoin's a joke. I'll get into Bitcoin later in the show. Not only did I call the crash, I called this nonsense in 2018. You guys ought to start actually listening to this show. But I think after everything I read this weekend, we need to liquidate everything. All of you business owners out there, you need to close your businesses. <clears throat> the world is ending. There's a crash coming. You need to take all the money you've got and stuff it into a mattress. Now, let's be honest. Some of you guys that sell wholesaling courses, you know... You'll have plenty of room in that mattress because you don't make that much money. <laughs> Some of you are actually going to have to build a couple of different mattresses and have nothing but cash in them. But it's over. It's over. There's a crash coming. Everything I read this weekend, every YouTube guy I listened to, everybody that wasn't hawking a stock, everybody that wasn't, now the technical term for this is selling their book. Everybody that wasn't selling their book, their book of business or their physical book for you to read, 
Except those guys, everyone else told me the world is about to end. All asset prices are at all-time highs. You need to sell everything. Sell it all. I've now been on this world tour. Actually, I just remembered. I think I do have an event Wednesday night. But I just went on this world tour giving the market update for what's happening in Houston, in Dallas, and also, in general, what's happening across the United States. And I get it. There's a certain demographic, a certain type of person that's always going to go against what you believe is going to happen. But you know what? I want you to go all in on that strategy. If you really think the world is going to end, start acting like it. If you really think asset prices are an all-time high, sell the house you live in, move into an apartment, and wait. If you really believe there's a crash coming, you need to liquidate everything you own, get to cash today, and sit in your hovel underneath a bridge and wait. If you truly believe the world is going to end, start acting like it. And, and this is going to be my stance from now on. When I get people that tell me that, oh my gosh, single family is so expensive. The market is overvalued. I could certainly make an argument for that. I'm just going to say, what's your alternative investment? Because here's what I found. Whenever I say, okay, now what are you going to do? You believe that. Whether it's true or not doesn't matter. You believe it. In fact, most of the stuff that you believe is true as it relates to investing in finance is not true. I could tell you that right now. But let's assume the world is going to end. There's bubbly nonsense, and it goes to the Fed, which is stupid because M2 is about dead. Look at the velocity of money. It's somebody, somebody sent me a note this this past weekend said, dude, you got to look at M2. You haven't looked at M2 in a while, have you? And I said, no. And I pulled it up and I'm like, what's all this whining and crying about inflation and interest rates? Look at the velocity of money, people. Go back and put your Econ 101 hat back on. Look at M2. It's dead. But the world's going to end, bro. You don't understand. Okay. So let's assume that asset prices are at all-time high highs and the world is going to end. Now what are you going to do? Oh, well, I'm just going to keep owning the stuff I own. Wait a minute. You're not going to sell everything? Because if, every, if all these assets are at all-time highs, if you can't invest in real estate because it's too expensive, then you need to sell everything today and get to cash. That's what you need to do. But you and I both know that's not true. See, here's the problem. When someone meets with me, here's the real problem. I cut through the BS real quick. And I'm not one of these people that are afraid of confrontation. In fact, you know what I think you need more in your life? You need more confrontation because it does one of two things. It either allows you the opportunity to reconsider your position or it solidifies what you believe is true. And here's what I found. Most people don't believe in what they say. They don't. It's real simple. If you believe what you say, you'll do it. It's that simple. Now, motivation aside, but in general... If you say you're going to do something, you're going to go do it. If you believe that the world is about to collapse and all these ads and the market's going to crash and the real estate market's going to crash and then the bond market's going to crash and the currency market's going to crash and everything's going to crash, then you need to liquidate everything right now. Right now. Now, if you're one of these guys that believes in hyperinflation, then you need to be loading up on debt like there's no tomorrow.
But here's the problem. All these financial guys and all these individual, I mean, everything I read this weekend basically said the world is ending. Here's the problem with that theory, that the crash is coming. I've heard that as it relates to real estate since 2012. Two minutes. And I've heard it in the financial markets since 2009. Here's the problem, people. You need to step away from the internet. You need to step away from your friends that have no clue what they're talking about. You need to turn off the business news. And you just need to step away. There is... I. I I would love to see a market crash at full employment. I think that's going to be fascinating to watch. I I just, I don't see it. I really don't. But you know what? Every person that comes up to me and tells me there's a crash coming, the first question I'm going to ask is, what's your net worth? And then the next question I'm going to ask is, where is all that? Where's all that wealth stored? Is it in real estate? Is it in stocks and bonds, equity? If it's all in cash, great. Hey, man, I I may not agree with you, but I respect your opinion. What I found this weekend is most people are just spouting BS, or they don't have any they don't have any skin in the game anyway. They don't have any money. I mean, they really when you really get down to it, it's like the Bitcoin people. The bit bros. Man, you got to get into Bitcoin. You know, if you bought a single family house in January of this year at 100% retail, you would be making more than any of those Bitcoin guys combined. (laughs) We get back from the break. We're going to talk about the crash and what we're going to do about the big crash. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. Do you have cracks in your brick, doors that stick, or sheetrock that's coming apart? Then you may have foundation movement. Due to our expansive soils in the Houston area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, unbiased foundation evaluation. Foundation Check has been in business since 2009 and has completed over 1,400 evaluations. We're not in the business of repairing foundations or selling you unnecessary peer work but we are in the business of evaluating your foundation. Our product is designed for house flippers, landlords, or even owner-occupied properties. Each of our files is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Remember to check before every repair. Call 346-702-3825. That's 346-702-3825. Or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. All right, pin guys. I just got a message from somebody. They're going to send me like a 20 house package. So I'm going to fire it over to Ryan and we'll see if it's any good. And we'll shoot out to y'all. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, senior loan officer. with. I like the numbers. I'll tell you that. Our goal is to give our borrowers and referral partners an amazing experience during the loan process. My team believes in putting people and culture before results. Our company concentrates on building those teams who operate with structure, process, and recognition for going the extra mile for you. This way, we have the energy to make this your best home purchase ever. Give us a call today to find out the simple steps to get started. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, the Hernandez team at Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Jennifer.LegacyMutual.com or call 713-579-3611. Again, jennifer.legacymutual.com. We can't wait to consult with you soon. NMLS 514497. Equal housing opportunity lender. NMLS 514497. Did you know that there are over $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S.? Imagine if you could use someone's IRA to fund all of your deals. Well, you can. Quest IRA is based locally here in Houston, Texas. At Quest IRA, we offer retirement accounts They can be used to invest in real estate, promissory notes, private entities, and much more. 
Many of our clients loan money from their IRAs to fund real estate deals all over the country. We don't sell any investments or give advice. However, we do hold free networking events, weekly <coughs> educational classes, and free consultations with an IRA specialist. For more information, visit our website at questira.com or call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs to tap into the $24 trillion in retirement accounts in the U.S., Call Quest IRA at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or go to our website, questira.com. One minute. Hello, real estate investors. Okay. Do you need a lender that moves fast at the speed of a jet to fund your investment properties? Jet Lending will help you purchase properties quickly with as little cash out of pocket as possible. Jet Lending also sets up a repair escrow fund to help you with repair costs. Jet Lending has originated over 2,000 loans in Texas, valued at over $250 million. Jet Lending will help you evaluate your deals for free and give you feedback on value, cost of repairs, and potential loan amount. Jet Lending is your fast and friendly hard money source for first-time investors and seasoned professionals. Call 281 872-7800 or email us at info at jetlending.com oh and don't forget about our famous third Wednesday super investor networking meeting lots of fun lots of great real estate talk we'll see you there this is business 1110 all right hot mics welcome back Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. I had some tenants move in on Sunday. And the only reason I know that is a property management company said, hey, you need to fill out a couple more forms so we can send you a check. And I'm like, "Eh, I'll get around to it when I can. It's not collecting the check that's important. It's that you hold on to that piece of real estate. You know what? It's fascinating. I don't want to get too nerdy with you guys on... Single family real estate. But you know, single family real estate, if you put a 30 year mortgage on it, it's really a 30 year call option on 30 years of single family appreciation. And you know what the crazy thing is? That call option cash flows. I just, I, I just have a hard time believing there's a better asset class out there. I mean, sure, would I have loved to have invested 50 grand into Uber and made 400 million? I mean, sure, absolutely. But for every Uber, there's like 50,000 other companies that just go down in flames. So, what's the relative risk? I mean, the likelihood is I'm going to lose money on one of those startups. Really hard to mess single-family real estate up. I called it back in December, right there, tail end of November, beginning of December, when they had igna- when they announced that they were going to allow options trading for Bitcoin. And I said, look, if if this allows the investor to short the market, you're going to see a Bitcoin crash and it ain't going to come back. And everybody told me I was crazy. And I'm like, guys, you don't, you don't understand. Have you read the book, The Big Short? Oh, yeah, I love it. I've seen the movie a hundred times, man. That whole movie was predicated on the fact that you could not short housing, period. Now, the fact that they did all the math and they found out the loans were bad and all that was just a side story. The reality was is they could not short housing. In fact, if you remember from the book and from the movie, when they called, when a couple of these different guys called their brokers or called their bank and said, hey, man, I want to short housing. How do I do that? And the prop desk said, oh, we don't have a product for that yet. Uh, we're not, I don't, I don't know how to short it. And they had all those meetings at those banks They were just trying to figure out. There was no product out there to short the asset class. And sure enough, Bitcoin was the same way. Until when? Until those exchanges opened. And then you could short them. I want to say it was December 11th or December 16th when it opened. And I said, get ready, guys. Here we go. Sure enough, got 
decimated. And now it's riding along this wave of all the people that think that it's going to go back. I mean, it's really the, the least sophisticated of all investors are the ones that, I mean, you might as well be, it's, it's electronic beanie babies. It's like, come on. Now, here's the other argument I hear all the time, but Jason, there's, there's you know value in the technology. Yeah, there is. I think blockchain technology would work really well in real estate as it relates to chain of title. I think there's some interesting applications there, but not in a currency. It just, mm -mm. but I'll tell you, everything I read this weekend said everything's going to crash. You probably want to go ahead and divest of everything. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, and we know that you're not going to liquidate everything, what's the next step? Are assets getting more expensive? Yes. Is it the Fed's fault? No. <clears throat> so I don't believe so. Oh, but interest rates this and interest rates that. Man, the more I look at it, I don't know if interest rates are ever going to get much higher. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't see it. I mean, it's, a, it's speculative to say that, but why would interest rates get higher? I mean, where else are you going to put your money? Here's the reality. The people who listen to this radio show are successful. Where are you going to put your money? I mean, let, let's get real honest. There's, there are two commodities in life. One, you can obtain an infinite amount of. The other one is finite. First one is money. Where are you going to put your money? It's that simple. I don't care how smart you are. If you're the smartest guy on the planet, here's the problem. You're the smartest guy on the planet. You've got a great investment strategy. What happens when you pass away? You have to have an investment vehicle that is, that is uh, easy enough for your family to understand. That's a reality of it. You can be the smartest guy on the planet make gazillions of dollars, have an incredibly complicated business and investment strategy. But the reality is, when you pass away, you have to be able to pass along that knowledge. I know a lot of guys have some really wild businesses, and we have this conversation. Well, who's going to take this business over when you leave? That's a great question. Yeah. And when you leave, could be tomorrow, could be 50 years from now. How hard is single-family real estate to understand? My favorite definition of an investment. Something that cash flows, and it's something you understand. That comes from Dr. Dotsauer. Just a great definition. Something cash flows, something you understand. As an investment, what do you understand more than your single-family house? house that you live in if your kids grew up there you know the schools real well you've lived there for 20 years you know all the neighbors you know the history behind all the houses you know if it floods you know if it doesn't if you've been there 20 years you can name all the storms that have blown through your neighborhood you know more about the single family house you live in than you do any other investment now I don't consider the house you live in as an investment. I don't. However, if you bought the house next door and rented it out, is there any investment you would know better than that house next door? And the answer is unequivocally no. It's a real easy investment to understand. In fact, not only that, you understand it, your wife understands it, your kids understand it, in fact, the repairs you've done on your house, I'm willing to bet if you talk to your neighbors, they've done the exact same repairs. There are two sides to real estate that we teach. One is active. One is passive. The things we teach in our business are predicated in knowing these little markets. For example, I'm a, 
I'm a guy on the west side of town. Although I'm buying a house north of I-10, I, I like to stay in that, at least between 290 and 59. If you guys know 290 going northwest and 59 going southwest, I like to stay close to 290, close to 59, and anywhere in between on I-10. You can tell me a neighborhood and the size of the house, and I can tell you what I think it's worth. In fact, if you tell me the age of the house, I can probably give you a good idea of what it costs to rehab it before I even show up to the house. And why is that? Because we know the neighborhoods that we invest in extremely well. An investment is something you know you know something about, and it cash flows. The reality is I spent all weekend reading all this nonsense. And when you talk to the Bitcoin guys, do they really know what it is? They have no idea. Trust me. They talk to them. They don't know what, what they're talking about. You talk to somebody who's investing in stocks and bonds and all that. Now, if they're a single... They invest in like four or five companies. I'm willing to bet they know every little thing about those companies. However, that's not what most people do. <clears throat> they say, oh, I invest in this mutual fund. Well, what's in that mutual fund? Most people don't even know what, what's in their mutual fund. What's in that mutual fund? They invest in an index. What's in that index? Heck, most indexes these days are made of Apple, Amazon, <laughs> Microsoft, I mean, it's pretty, they're kind of like it, right? What do you really know better than that single family house? When you look at the rates of return that our members are getting, it's not simply a function of the fact that they're investing in single family real estate. It's the fact that they're investing in single-family real estate that they understand. One minute. We've got folks in our group. I just I mentioned on the break, our Passive Investor Network, uh, we've got a package of 20 or so houses that we're about to send whoop, right through it. I think the guys contracted 13 in the last couple of days. And why are they able to do that? It's pretty simple. I know these neighborhoods really well. I don't want to say it's almost like putting in an order, but it almost is. It's like, hey, Ryan, could you, uh, I got a couple houses here in Steeplechase. You think you could scare a couple up for me here in the next month or two? I need to add a couple more to the portfolio. 30-year call option that produces cash that you can liquidate at any time in the future really is an amazing investment. It's Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. Taxes. Just the sound of that word makes people cringe. At Anderson Advisors, we provide tax reduction through asset protection for real estate investors throughout the country. Our unique philosophy has CPAs, lawyers, bookkeepers, and estate planners with one common goal, helping you, the real estate investor. Check us out today at AndersonAdvisors.com. And don't forget to tell us you heard about us at Right Path Real Estate. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties, whether it's a flip, rehab, or a rental rehab. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Are you a realtor or seller that is concerned about the new TRID rules and closing on time? I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer at Legacy Mutual Mortgage, and we have mastered the 30-day close. 
we close on time accurately and with tons of communication. You'll have a dedicated team of a coordinator and a contract to close associate. Give me a call today at 713-579-3611 and let's talk about how we can help you on your next transaction. NMLS 514497. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes, binders, and the agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. It's there for you. Call Houston's leading real estate risk management experts. Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas, 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. Real estate investors, if you're not familiar with Quest IRA, let me tell you what you're missing. We've got free weekly educational classes, networking opportunities, and the ability to tap into trillions of dollars for your real estate investing deal. Come by our office or join us remotely as we simulcast all of our educational classes every Tuesday morning and evening. For more information, call us at 1-855-FUN-IRAs or visit our website at questira.com. You found or inherited a great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is oh, exactly I got the wrong why email. we started That's Next why. Gen Appraisal. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give Next Gen a call at 713 713- 346 9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraise.com. Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? One Try minute. For mediocre results, there's a better place to invest. The experts agree single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281 915 0906 or visit our website jbfundservices.com. That's 281-915-0906. This investment is offered to accredited investors. Selecting a foundation company and their product for repair is a lot like a game of chance. You simply don't know what you're going to get. The foundation repair industry as a whole doesn't carry a license, nor is it regulated. However, Foundation Check utilizes professional engineers to review all of our files to give you the best foundation analysis in today's market. Remember to check before every repair. Call 346-702-3825 or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. This is Business 1110. All right, hot mics. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. I'm a little distracted. We just got this 20 house package in. I'm looking at the pictures. Um, let me get back to the show here. You know what's amazing? You could do one deal. You can buy 20 houses. You can do one deal, bang, retired. You can do one deal. I think they want, I don't know, three million bucks for these things. Probably worth it. Allegedly, pretty nice sides of areas of town. Buy it for three. My guess, net on net cash flow without a mortgage is $20,000 a month. That gets you about $240,000 a year on three mil. Let me do the math real quick on that. Uh, 240 divided by 3,000. So that's an 8% return. This is assuming you do it with all cash. So put $3 million to work, make $240,000 a year. Not bad. That's an 8% rate of return. Now, what's interesting is if you start using leverage, you know that, that changes the numbers significantly. The other thing that's fascinating, too, is at um, $3 million, we know the market is appreciating at about 8% a year. So really, it's about a 16% rate of return in one deal. These houses are already cash flowing. So the part of the email I got was, hey, Jason, they haven't raised rents in years. This guy owns a couple other businesses. He just had not time to fool with it anymore. 20 houses. You can be retired like that. Now, this is not that hard. 
it's really not. When you start to get in the passive side of this business, and we're doing a lot more of that lately, it's not that hard. You don't need to buy 500 houses to retire. You don't need to get into a crazy apartment deal where you're syndicating money and there's, you know, there's a, a GPLP partnership thing and you worry about securities nonsense and you got to come up with a million dollar down payment. You got 10 partners. You don't have to do any of that. You really don't. Most people to retire need somewhere between five and 20 grand a month of income. That's it. And that is totally doable in single family. It's this business is not that I should say it this way. Retirement is not that hard. It's just not live on less than you earn, invest the rest. I've heard people say this, although it's mathematically difficult. You can retire in five years or less just by saving for retirement. Now, you've got to have a pretty healthy income to do it, but mathematically, it's possible. However, A, most people don't have the discipline to live at that level, or B, they usually don't make that much money in household income. So what do the rest of us do? Start buying single-family houses. But Jason, the crash is coming. Okay, well, what are you doing? Have you liquidated everything? If you truly believed a crash was coming, you would sell your house, take all of the gains from that sale, move into a rental property next door, and wait. Because you'll be able to buy your house back at a 20 to 30% discount. Now, here's the funny thing about that. A 20% discount, people think that the market is falling apart if it were to fall by 20%. It costs 10% just to sell your house. So 20% drop is not really a big deal. I think it's the biggest, I have to go back and look. But I think it's probably been the biggest crash, I mean, 20, 30%. We lived in a neighborhood years ago that got impacted by the 2008, 2009 crash. It was about 30%. That's it. If you're buying properties and you're renting them out, who cares? They just cash flow. In fact, during a crash, rents typically go up. You're making even more money. Who cares? Everything I read from all these supposed investment experts are saying the world's about to fall apart. You know the sad thing is? What if the world doesn't fall apart? What if we're on the edge of another 1990s style appreciation and growth? What if we're there? We're like right at the edge of it. I, all the data I keep reading says we're that that's exactly what's going to happen. When I look at the the last bull market, meaning the last time housing appreciated was 182 months. We're only 70-ish months in our cycle right now. We're not even halfway there. So... You can put your money on the sidelines. You can scream all you want on Facebook and YouTube videos and oh, linking articles. Oh, my God, the world's going to end. And nothing could be further from the truth. In 2007, real median household income had a local peak of $58,149 and then fell off a cliff at the same time as the credit cycle, which reached, reached its own peak in Q3 of 2008. Real median household income bottomed in 2012, and debt followed in 2013. Looking at the most recent year of data available, both categories are now above pre-crisis levels. Real median household income has now surpassed its all-time record high in 1999, and total household debt has topped $13 trillion. 
This is from an article on uh, Zero Hedge via the Visual Capitalist. Visualizing how American household finances are changing. I love this quote. While consumer debt is similar in terms of total size from a decade ago, I want you to listen to that again. Consumer debt is similar in terms of total size from a decade ago. That's very fascinating. Because we have a lot more people that are eligible for loans, and the total size is about the same. The the composition has changed considerably. Mortgage debt, which makes up the vast majority of consumer debt, is still down from its 2008 peak by 4%. Let me get this straight. Everybody's hollering and screaming about the cost of single-family real estate and how the affordability, oh my gosh. If I hear one more guy talk about the affordability index without explaining exactly what it is and what its limitations are, I'm kicking him out of my next event. I'm like, you just just get out. Just, you need to go home, do some reading, and you can come back. Because if houses weren't all that affordable, why is total mortgage debt down 4%? I don't understand. One of my favorite things, I do it all the time. You guys need to go back and watch Frozen Caveman Lawyer from Saturday Night Live. That is my standard go-to whenever somebody starts spouting off stuff that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I love to do it with the commercial real estate guys. Because they literally think they're the smartest guys in the room. I love doing it with them. I'm like, I don't understand. I'm just a little single-family real estate investor here. Your big buildings that are taller than two stories confuse me. You got elevators in there and offices. So confusing to us little single-family guys. We don't, we don't understand commercial. Oh, I love it. I love trolling commercial real estate guys is one of my favorite things to do. And I get away with it now because I'm not a a commercial real estate investor, but I I probably will be in the future. But I just love it. If you've never seen Frozen Caveman Lawyer on Saturday Night Live, you want to Google it up. It's a great way to ask a lot of seemingly stupid questions and then realize what they don't understand. I hear house, oh my gosh, Jason, housing affordability. People are going to be able to afford houses in the future. Two minutes. Well, wait a second, because right here it says that the debt's down 4%. That's weird. We've got real estate approaching record highs in certain submarkets. Now, here's the problem. When you read real estate finance stuff and when you real estate read real estate investment stuff nationally, it's stuck on the coasts. It's the nonsense going on in the Bay Area. And it's all the craziness in New York. You will occasionally get Miami thrown in the mix and Chicago. First of all, those are all liberal dumpster fires. So if you're a real estate investor, I don't care where you are politically. I really don't. But here's what we know. In those liberal states and cities, it's nearly impossible to be an investor. And you're lying to yourselves if you think that has anything but politics to do with it. Trust me. Rent controls, uh, new construction permits, all that stuff has a huge impact on real estate. Then when you add in all the tax nonsense, the whole like tenant law where people can be in a house and not paying rent for like two years in California, that's it. That's crazy. It's crazy. California is one of the few states you can actually live homelessly under a bridge because the weather's so nice. You're telling me you can't kick people out of a house? It's crazy. We get back from the break. I want to talk more about this housing affordability issue. It's Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Bikes off. great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. 
This is exactly why we started Next Gen. Hey, uh, Jennifer, that is a great point. I'm going to get to that. What you have said there is fascinating because most of the experts have told us that millennials are not buying homes because they don't want to own a home. And I think that's utter BS. Your point is exactly why they're not buying. Are you looking for they have way too much in student loan debt. For your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties. Whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab, we manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient, standardized <coughs> process. Over the last six years, Fast Track has completed over 700 projects, which has helped us to create our three keys to success. Use a detailed scope of work so that everything gets done, train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right, and complete the work in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself, no more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Again, that's 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes or binders? The agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. We're here for you. Are you a rehabber, wholesaler, buy and hold, or flipper? Bundling your properties on a single policy will help save time and money. Benchmark has been in business for over 10 years, and we insure over 30,000 properties. Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Call us and let us show you what we can do for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353 or online at BenchmarkBroker.com. That's BenchmarkBroker.com. That's 281-569-4353 or online at BenchmarkBroker.com. Hi, Clint Coons here, attorney and avid <coughs> real estate investor. You know the greatest mistake real estate investors make is not understanding the potential liability that exists from owning real estate. At Anderson Business, Legal, and Tax Advisors, we specialize in protecting real estate investors in all 50 states. In addition to structuring your business for optimum protection, we provide guidance so you pay the least amount of taxes available under the law. We have 150 employees that range from lawyers to CPAs to estate planners and much more. Download our free ebook, The Invisible Investor Strategy, today at AndersonAdvisors.com or call for a free risk reduction analysis and financial blueprint at 800 706 4741. Anderson Business Advisors will help you keep more of what you earn. Call us today at 800 706 4741 and mention Right Path Real Estate. Small All right, 30 seconds. Of your retirement plans. Why settle for mediocre results? There's a better place to invest. The experts agree. Single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281-915-0906 or visit our website, jbfundservices.com. That's 281-915-0906. This investment is offered to accredited investors. This is Business 1110. All right, Jay, hot mics. All right. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. Theme of today's show, Crash is Coming. Everybody, quick, quick everybody go to cash. Prices are too high. It's, oh, oh my God. We've, we've exceeded... The last peak, that means that there's a crash imminent. And the Fed, oh, oh my gosh, the Fed's printing all this money. Really? Is it? And interest rates, interest rates are so low. Here, I hear I read this, while consumer debt is similar in terms of total size from a decade ago, composition, the composition has changed Considerably, mortgage debt, which makes up the vast majority of consumer debt, is still down from 2008 by 4%. <clears throat> Meaning, as houses have gotten more expensive, we're borrowing less. 
Now, we have a wise soul on our Facebook page that said, Jason, millennials aren't buying houses because of student loan debt. And I said, you are absolutely right. I am developing an incredible disdain for education. Like real, I'm getting like a real mean streak for education lately. It seems like all undergraduate and graduate schools are doing is burying the most vulnerable financially before they're even out to get their first job. And then we've got our primary education, K through 12, because of the pension system is literally burying those school districts. We really don't care about our children. That's the whole point I'm making. We really don't. As a society, we may as individuals, but as a society, we don't. Just look at the finance of these school districts and see where that money's going. Here's the reality, folks. You're going to have to teach your family something different. And it's not invested in stocks and bonds. It's not invested in gold. It's not invested in Bitcoin. It's an investing in something that really matters. You need food, water, shelter. I invest in shelter. And that's what we teach here at Right Path Real Estate. One minute. This Thursday, we're doing a case study event of some of our members, people who are making incredible rates of return with single family real estate, a business that's really simple. Highly recommend you come out. Thursday night, we start at about 6.30. I think our presentation starts at about 7. If you go to rightpathrealestate.com, you can sign up there to come out to the event. But here's what I'll tell you. You have got to start teaching your family about how to invest in the future. 30 seconds. And everybody's got to have a place to live. That's what makes this business so fascinating. It makes it so fun. You can build a business literally by buying the house seconds. next door. And we're going to talk about the folks who are doing that Thursday night. I want to thank you guys for your attention today. I will see you on Wednesday morning. Tom will be here for Build Your Team Tuesday. And I will see you guys Thursday night. It's Jason Bible, Right Path Real Estate. All right, Jay, have a good one. All right, thanks. You've been listening to Right Path Real Estate Radio.